all this is out of my house. I'm so happy. I found some extra shoes for the girls to give to Goodwill and the rest of this is trash. Really happy. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put all this stuff out in the recycle bin and in my car because I'm going to Goodwill tomorrow. It's time y'all, time to tackle this. This is my foyer. And you're probably thinking, well, gee, how the heck did it get like this? Honestly, I don't know. This is our dump when we get our packages, we let them sit here. I kind of accumulate things that I don't know what I should do with in here. A lot of it's just trash that we need to throw away. And honestly, it's driving me crazy. So I know you're probably wondering, well, Gia, how, how do you, how can you just let it get like this? Just pick up after yourself. Listen, sis, if it was that easy for me, trust me, I would do it. Okay, I'm working on it. I'm a WIP, okay, work in progress. So I'm not gonna chat. We're gonna get to work. First thing I'm gonna do is just clear away all the trash. I'm gonna walk through this foyer in my dining room and pick up all the trash. With my dining room, it's like, ugh, it's toys, it's, I, I don't even know. It's my sewing room, it's this lamp that I don't want that I need to give to Goodwill, it's, it's all of this. So I'm just gonna walk through, pick up the trash first and then get a laundry basket and put the things that I don't know where they belong, what I don't wanna throw them away, put them in there and then we'll assess from there. It's this area too, coming down the stairs, this, this is, we gotta do something here. Just to let you guys know that blue bag that was there was a donation bag that had started months ago and it was just sitting there and that's a mistake get the donations out of your house immediately immediately because people kept going in the bag and then we kept adding to the bag the bag started ripping and i was just sitting there it was an eyesore that box um there's some toys in there that i'm gonna put in the toy cabinet that they want but the rest of that is going to be trash or donate so we're getting there girls we are getting there we just need to 
This floor is incredibly dusty. I'm not gonna mop it today, but I will wipe it down and stuff um, and vacuum what I need to be vac what needs to be vacuumed and dust. Okay, so now that I cleaned all the corners and the crevices, I'm gonna go ahead and get my vacuum out and um, vacuum the little area rug. I know our area rug is really small for this space. And we definitely wanna get a bigger one. I just don't know what color. It's hard. <laughs> so we're just using what we have for right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the whole entire space and really clean it up. Oh my gosh, y'all. It feels so good to have the space back <sighs> with my one reef girl. My one reef looks so crazy, <laughs> but it is what it is. It's just too big. And I need like two smaller reefs, or I don't even know if I, maybe I should put garland around the door. Any recommendations, let me know. Um, Cause girl, the one reef is just like, we'll have to do it for next year though, girl. But anyway, I'm just so happy to have this space back. It really didn't take me long. It's, it was very dusty in here. And like my office is like, I sit right here to work. It was constantly in my sight. We're not even gonna talk about my office girl. Cause that's a whole nother issue. And so is the dining room. I did not do the dining room because I'm gonna do a separate video on my dining room. I didn't walk you on the other side. Cause it's, it's a little bit scary, you know? I don't wanna be on the show hoarders, so that's why I'm taking control of this now. But I will do my dining room in, my, in a separate video. But I'm just happy to have this space reclaimed and the bottom of my stairs, like to come down my stairs and have it be nothing there is so nice. Now the old me would have been just ended the video here, but I'm not going to do that. I don't wanna leave this stuff here. So I'm gonna go through everything. Well, that's trash, but I'm gonna go through, put everything away that's in this basket or anything that's on the stairs. Since I put it on the stairs, that means it goes upstairs. Putting our, our clothes away um, and everything. Cause I just want this to be clear when I walk down the stairs. So let me go ahead and do that. All this is out of my house. I'm so happy. Goodwill, I found some extra shoes for the girls that we get to give to Goodwill. And the rest of this is trash. That's a return that I have, but I'm um, really happy. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put all this stuff out in the recycle bin and in my car because I'm going to Goodwill tomorrow. Now that I'm all cleaned up, I'm gonna have my house smelling good with my soy melt 
One of my best friends makes amazing all natural soy, homemade soy candles and wax melts. And no, this is not sponsored. This is just me showing you because I love her products so much. I'm gonna have my house smelling really Christmassy. I think we're gonna do the peppermint rose scented wax melts. These are so cute. You can get the this wax warmer from the Dollar Tree. These wax melts are so cute and it really smells up my whole downstairs and they're really uh, strong and it, sm it has it smelling really good. If you're interested, here is her website, loveyourcandle.com and her Instagram handle at love underscore your underscore candle. I cannot tell you guys how good it feels to be able to come down here and not look at all that crap and all this crap here at the landing. It just opens my house up. Oh, I'm so happy y'all. Let me tell you something. I did not feel like it. Whew, I did not feel like putting all that stuff away. Okay, that's the worst part of decluttering for me is figuring out where to put all that stuff. Um, and using that kind of brain power, that's where the de decision fatigue f sets in for me. I never want to put it away. I can clean all day, but if I have to put stuff up, it's like, oh, somebody help me. And that's where I know having less stuff, having less stuff is better because then you don't have to put as many things away. And if something doesn't have a place where you don't know where it belongs, then do you really need it? And that's what I was asking myself when I was putting that stuff away that was in the basket, like, do I really need this stuff? So um, I actually got rid of some of the stuff that was in there and yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I have to force myself to do that because if not, the basket will just sit there and then it'll accumulate more stuff and it's just get it done. I think, I can't remember where I saw it online where it's like, if it takes you less than two minutes, don't leave it there, just do it. Just do it right then and there. And so I've been applying that. I'm really happy y'all. We have what, two weeks left in this year and we are crushing it. So many of you guys are following along with me. So many of you guys are so similar to me and it's like, that's why we're a family because a lot of you guys struggle with the same things that I struggle with and I never ever on my channel want to project anything fake or like project like my life is perfect. It's far from that. Or make a mess for views. <laughs> I think that's what some people do is like, instead of cleaning a clean house, they like scatter a few things around and say that that's cleaning i mean some youtubers but that's not me this is my real life and i'm just happy that i'm making progress that we're going to be bringing in 2022 with a decluttered home and I, this is something that i've been wanting to do for a long time and i've never able to bring in that new year on this kind of mindset where it's like less is more, better less is more let's declutter let's clean up i'm just really happy for where i'm at so leave a comment down below let me know where are you at how are you doing? Are you doing the things that you don't wanna do? Cause maybe for you, it's not decluttering. Maybe it's cleaning. Maybe it's your finances. Maybe it's your parenting, whatever you wanna focus on. Let's spend these last two weeks really trying to become that person. We don't have to wait until the first to become that person. And so I talk about that a lot on Moms and Money, changing your mindset and how powerful that is. So a uh, link for Moms and Money is in the description box, by the way, but yeah, so I'm really, really happy. All right, my friends, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.